We've been doing a lot of studying about how authors create persuasive texts, and now it's time to put it all together. So we're going to get into four teams, and we're going to look at a persuasive text together, read it, and then you're going to tell us what you know afterwards to the whole class when you've had a chance to do your team jobs. So the first team is going to make a summary of this persuasive text. So person number one in the team is going to tell us the writer's opinion and the three reasons that they give for their opinion. And then person number two is going to unpack reason number one in detail. And did the writer use facts, an anecdote, a statistic, an expert quote? How did they create their evidence, their examples for reason number one. And then the next two team members will be dealing with reason number two and reason number three in the same way. Now, the persuasive techniques team, they have their four jobs. And the first team member is going to be looking at the text for any examples of similes, metaphors or personification while team member number two is going to be looking for repetition or exaggeration. Team member number three is, is going to be looking for onomatopoeia or alliteration. And team number four, member number four, is going to look for a triplet. Now, if some of these are not in the different um, team members' slots, you can kind of share your techniques around to help each other out as long as you've all got a technique to report back on. So the word hunt team has the task, the first person is going to be finding emotive language. The second person is going to be finding tricks to involve the audience. The third person will be looking at ways of sounding really definite and really commanding. Um, and the fourth person will be looking at words to impress. Now, the big ideas team will be having a look at what issue this topic is connected to and maybe talking also about what other stakeholders believe about this issue. Um, they're going to have the second team member will look at what will happen in the future if this is not resolved. The third team member will look at whether this author is an expert or not and the fourth team member will be doing a little bit of a fake news check for us um, to see whether this text actually um, is kind of based on something that, that's real or whether this author has actually gone off on a jag and it's actually um, fake news.